An angry 10 News viewer emailed us about all this trash just on the side of a road in the South Bay. He wanted to know why no one picks it up. Our South Bay reporter Joe Little met him on the side of the road and figured out who to call. Guys, I've lived here for 13 years and I've never driven up this road until a 10 News viewer called us annoyed with what he was seeing. Let me show you right here. You were looking at someone's sofa, about a dozen tires and today's trash all dumped here illegally. Hundreds drive by it every day. Some stuff you might miss, like the Taco Bell cup, the plastic bag, or the empty oil bottle. It's really bad. But some things are just ridiculous. Bags of household trash, motor oil, tons of tires, toilet seats, paint cans, pretty much everything. That's why Ryan Miller called 10 News. I travel this road and it's, it's sickening to look at, especially when it rains, everything gets carried down into the street. He didn't know who else to call. The homes over there is city of San Diego and the Chula Vista is down that way. That's right, homes less than a mile away from where someone is treating Heritage Road like their own personal landfill. Bags and buckets of motor oil we've taken it and turned it at the you know, auto parts places. But other things, like this hot tub cover, are just too big. It's pretty gross to look at. Yeah. This stretch of Heritage, which is about a mile south from the Sleep Train Amphitheater, is in Chula Vista. I called the city for answers. Turns out Chula Vista cleaned this road regularly until it realized this road is a private road. Now the city and the feds are fining the property owners for these messes, even though it's not really their fault. Hopefully they'll be able to maybe do something to prevent it. Sadly, the landfill is right down the road, not even two miles. It's just lazy, they don't want to do it, I guess. Which ticks yeah. Miller off. Our company, we, we paid to you know dump all of our trash. So these other places should be too. In Chula Vista. I wonder if there's any change between these cushions. Joe Little, 10 News. Well, there are several property owners along the stretch of the heritage. People use it to get a scrapyard and also to shortcut to Otay Mesa. Landfield's right there, too. What a shame. As